It's about time, it's about space, about two men in the strangest place. It's about time, it's about flight, traveling faster than the speed of light. Here is their tale of the brave crew. As through the barrier of time they flew, past the fighting Minutemen, past an armored knight, past a Roman warrior. Ancient sight. It's about change, big and two, about a time when the earth was new. When they see what is in sight, is it good luck or is it good night? It's about two astronauts, it's about their fate, it's about a woman and her prehistoric mate. And now idea why they dragged us out here like this, sir? I wish I knew, Hector. I've never seen them so upset. <laughs> Silence! Boss ready for prisoners. Prisoners stand before boss. Prisoners, evil spirits, try hurt boss with wicked magic. <laughs> wicked magic? What's he talking about? What kind of wicked magic? This boss find Outside cave of prisoners. <laughs> What's that snapshot you took of him the other day? Oh, yeah, I was taking pictures of cave people to bring back after we repair our spaceship. What's he kicking about? It's in focus. The background looks nice. I wonder what he's kicking about. To these people, a photograph is black magic. It's in color. <laughs> Boss, now tell punishment for prisoners. <laughs> now, here, boss. Boss say, evil spirit who make evil magic must die. Kill now. Kill now. No, 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 not kill now. But it's not nice to kill prisoners without a fair trial. <laughs> what mean fair trial? Uh, well, it, it means that uh, you, ha you have to let the prisoners go uh, so they can find the witnesses. Witnesses? Yes, that's uh, people who will tell their side of the story. My, that sounds nice and friendly. <laughs> and may I say, you do look like a man who wants to be fair. <laughs> Boss like fair trial. You're drunk. Set prisoners free. <laughs> Come back next moon. Fine. Boss give fair trial. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> Captain, we've got to get out of here right now, maybe even sooner. At ease, Lieutenant, that's an order. <laughs> Captain, our only chance is to get this spaceship in operating condition before that phony trial gets started. Well, we can do it, we can do it. The only part that needs a little re repair is the propulsion unit. <laughs> I was right, it does need a little repair. Hector, we've got to face the bitter fact. We're doomed. We're never going to get out of here. We're dead ducks. You're condemned by a caveman dictator. You know, back home, he wouldn't even be elected dog catcher. Around here, he runs the whole... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hector, you just said the magic word. Dog catcher? No, elected. Elected? Sure. One reason we're one moon away from total extinction is because boss runs the tribe, right? Right. All right. Let's get the people to hold an election and pick a new chief. Somebody who likes us, Gronk, for instance. Well, how can we get these cave people to have an election? Hector, I'd say we had a lot of fast talking to do. <laughs> Captain? What? We got a lot of fast talking to do. <laughs> and that's the big difference. In an election, after the candidates accept the nomination, you elect them as chief. What chief? Oh, that's the boss. But if he's a dictator, he elects himself, understand? Grunk understand. If chief picks self as chief, 
he called dictation. <laughs> but when people pick candle date, must electrocute after except marination. No, no, not marination. Nogmination. No, Chef. Combination? No, no. Paranation. That's close enough. <laughs> Look, Gronk, what do you think? Wouldn't you like to have an election right here in this village and pick your own chief? Chad, like, think electrocution of chief by people. Good idea. Vote for husband Gronk as first candle date. <laughs> Not except marination. Not marination. <laughs> Nogmation. Now, don't start that again. You'd make a wonderful chief. Why don't you like Chad's idea? Grunk like idea. Afraid boss not like. And when boss not like, crumb kill. <laughs> but if you accept the nomination and get elected, you'll be boss. And then boss wouldn't be able to touch you. Shad, you'd like Gronk to be boss, wouldn't you? Shad, not sure. It'd be a great life. You'd be the first lady. First lady? Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's what they call the chief's wife in our tribe. They'd probably call you... Shadbird. <laughs> Shadbird. Ooh, nice name. Shadbird. <laughs> Shad like. And then we have electrocution after candle date is fumigated. Fumigated? Maybe marinated. <laughs> Not care what custom call. What custom do? It make best man win. <clears throat> Not need custom. Best man already win. <laughs> boss. Ah, that because boss is dictation. <laughs> dictation? What mean dictation? Dictation when chief not listen to people. Listen only to self. Boss not dictation. Listen all people, all time. Boss, this man waits since sun come up. Want to ask important questions. Answer no. Not bother boss again or big trouble. <laughs>